Okay, so I have Adobe After Effects open. We're going to start by creating a new composition. And I'm just going to rename this particle text. And it's going to be a 1920 by 1080, and we're going to make it a 10 second duration. Here. And I'm just going to change the color to a black color. And just click OK, and then click OK again. And then we're going to come up here to our text tool. And I'm just going to type in space. And then I'm going to take my caps lock off and recenter this using my selection tool. And over here on the right hand side, you have your character settings. If you don't see them on the right hand side, just go to your window and make sure the character settings have a check mark next to it. And I think I'm going to bring up the font size to 300. Actually, let's make it 350. And then I'm just going to recenter this. So the inside color, I'm going to make it a like a light blue color. And then the stroke color, I have a pink color. And I'm just going to increase the width. So I'm just going to bring this up to 7. Actually, let me bring it up to 10. So that's just going to increase the width of the outline of the text. So now we're ready to add our particles. So you're going to go under effects and presets. Again, if you don't see that over here, just go to your window and make sure your effects and presets are selected. And then we're going to go to CC ball action. And we're just going to drag that into our space text. Under grid spacing, we're going to set that at zero. And if you want, you can add a glow. So I'm going to search glow under effects and presets, and I'm going to add the glow to the text layer. And then I'm just going to add a gradient ramp to the background. So I'm going to go to my background layer and go to effect, generate gradient ramp. And I'm just going to choose a dark blue color on the, uh, the bottom. Actually, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with a brighter blue color. So the last thing we need to do is animate the text so that the particles, so the last thing we need to do is animate our text so the particles explode. So just make sure that your time ruler is at the beginning of the time graph area. I'm just going to move it forward slightly. So we're going to start the animation at about right here, 15 frames. And then for the scatter, you're just going to hit this stopwatch where it says scatter. Make sure it's set at zero. And then we're going to drag the time ruler all the way to the end of the time graph. And we're going to bring this up to 1024, which is the max setting that you can bring it up to. All right, so let's preview this. All right, that looks pretty good. If you want, you can add a animation at the beginning. So if you want, we can go to effects and presets and then go to animation presets text. And we'll go to scale and we'll add like a scale up just for the beginning of the text. So we're just going to scale up. And kind of explode at the same time. I think I'm just going to move the beginning of the keyframe where the explosion happened. So by doing that, you just come over here to your layer and you hit the drop down and you go to effects and under CC ball action, you can see our first keyframe starts here. So if you want it to start later, all you have to do is take your selection tool and just drag that forward a little bit. I'm going to drag it forward just a little bit more. All right, so that looks pretty good. So just with a uh, short, um, all right, so that looks pretty good. So just with a few uh, simple steps, you can create this particle explosion in Adobe After Effects. You don't need any plugins to create this. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hitting that like button really helps the video. And thank you so much for watching.